hit the subscribe button. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Nope. That's not it. But we're going to keep going. That's not it. Hi, guys. Nick. Oh, that was fake. Mm -mm. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hi guys, Nikia Lindsay here back with another video. I haven't I haven't filmed like a sit down type of situational video in a long time. If you enjoy this makeup look, please let me know down below. Let me know if you guys would like for me to film a tutorial on this look because honey, it's giving what it's supposed to get. And if you want details on this hair, Please let me know. Well, it'll be all down below in the description box anyway, but definitely let me know if you want me to film this makeup tutorial because, like I said, it's giving. Today I am bringing you guys a video that used to be so popular back in like the early 2000s and I see that it's making its way back now, which I am forever grateful. Um, I used to be nosy back in the day so as you can tell by the title this is a what's in my bag type of video I used to watch these videos all the time and I find myself watching them now actually more it's just very interesting to see what is in other people's purses because I'm like do I need to add that to my purse do I need to add that to my purse it's just very interesting um, before I show you my bag, I am a big bag type of girl. I only try, um, use small bags when I travel, like out of the state, or if I'm going somewhere like really cute and I want to be dainty, I'm a little dainty purse, but I am a tote bag type of person. So, oh, is she heavy? Listen, it is not really always this heavy, but this is my everyday um, work bag. It looks like this. It is by Nine West. Your girl is bougie affordable. Affordably bougie. A couple of months ago, she's very, very heavy. Um, this is actually like my everyday work bag in a sense. And I do carry it on the weekends when I go like shopping and um, running errands. But I don't have majority of what I have. Well, I have enough. I just went to work today, so that's why my bag is a little on the full side. But this is her, the specs. Um, it has a long strap, so I like to use this as a crossbody. Um, it has silver hardware. It has a pouch, like a little slit on this side. And when you open it, it's like a pit. It's literally a black hole. I have a pouch on this side and then on this side I have a little zipper pouch she's heavy um, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into her so if you want to see what's in my everyday bag then keep watching first things first I literally I'm just taking out um, I have a, a bottle of water I feel like I'm a little dehydrated because my head hurts a little bit TMI guys this is not the point of the video, but I have a bottle of water. This is just the Alkaline Smart Water. Please drink Alkaline Water, guys. It is so much better for you. Um, I'm about to finish this and start a new bottle. Next, I have a pair of gloves because I don't know where you guys live, but in New Jersey today, it was 18 degrees. And when I drive, my steering wheel is cold because I don't have a fuzzy furry little steering wheel cover I have to buy a new one but it's 18 degrees it's super super cold so I do have a pair of gloves in here I like to keep them in my purse so I always know where they are because I did lose these bad boys and your girl's hands was freezing terribly next I'm just digging I have my wallet this is by the brand Tahari I did get this from Burlington. I got this from Burlington. When you open it, I'm not going to show y'all, but it has two slots. So I just have my driver's license and then it opens like this. And I just have like some cards, some more cards. These are my main important cards. And these are just like miscellaneous, like my health insurance card. Um, what else? I have a Goodwill card because your girl loves the thrift. Um, I have a Visa gift card, a ShopRite card, 
I have my debit cards, my laundry cards, my Ulta cards, my Sephora cards. You guys know what a wallet is. A wallet is a wallet, nothing, nothing special. A wallet, I just have my business cards, which I have to actually refill. I'm gonna start really passing them out. Next, I just have my glasses case. I keep these in because these are good for UV and also when I am driving at night because at night I, I have a, a mild, like a slight mild astigmatism and at night my eyes get like really blurred and I really can't see. And at work, I do work on a computer all day long so my eyes do get tired of looking at the blue light so these are my glasses guys if I want to mess up my makeup am I cute I look studious come in this cute little clear case next I have just some scented lotion this is by Bath and Body Works this is wild Madagascar vanilla I actually haven't used this I mean in a while I just I just have it in here they have a um like a, a body wash or like a, uh, a spray, but yep, this is what your girl got. I just keep this in here just in case someone asks me if I have any lotion or anything. Guy, girls at work, especially if someone says, oh, do you have lotion? I'm like, yeah, let me pull out my little, my little jar. And also I do keep one in my car as well because you just never know. But your girl got the bathroom body works. Next, I have a just a spray bottle of hand sanitizer because you guys know in the world we live in now, COVID is a thing. Uh, me and my fiance did have COVID, so now I take extra precautions when I'm everywhere. I I spray this everywhere, um, but you can get hand sanitizer from anywhere. This is 80% alcohol. Um, I literally use this all the time. I spray down carts doors my hands as soon as I get into the car my hands when I get into a place when I'm in a place I also use it at work because I'm touching a lot of stuff so I, you always have to have a hand sanitizer on you like that this is the new norm this is literally the new norm hand sanitizer also a new norm I am pulling out a face mask definitely 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 a new norm um, I keep I just keep one in my purse because I do have one in my car um, a lot of people don't wear a mask anymore but honey I'm aware of my mask because I don't know who got the vid I had the vid and I don't want the vid again so next I have my Canon G7X mark mark 2 I have my yeah a power Canon power shot G7X Mark II. Um, I use this for vlogging because I do like to vlog on my channel, even though we don't they don't get a lot of views. So go check out my previous vlog because it's it's nice. And I also have another vlog coming. Shameless plug, but I do keep my vlog camera in my bag because um, I'm currently filming a weekly vlog. So when I do like a weekly vlog, I like to keep it in my purse. So I have that. I have just a planner. It is like a marble and it says follow your dreams. I am the type of person who likes to write down everything and, and have it and visually see it. I'm not the type to put stuff on my phone because I don't do that. Like see look. I don't know if y'all can see but I literally write down everything. I did purchase this from Amazon so if I can find the link I will link it down below um, it wasn't really that much it was actually pretty affordable and also in my bag I just have a little notebook that actually matches the um, planner in my notebook I just like to use this to like write down little notes if I'm anywhere because like I said I don't like writing things on my phone because what if my phone dies um, what if it's too much for me to go on my phone? I'm just a visual type of person all around and I like to write down everything on paper. I'm a paper visual type of girl. Let me know if you are a visual person as well. I love planners. I love notebooks. I have a problem and the first step is admitting. But yeah, this has nothing on it. It's just literally the marble and they look really cute both are from Amazon so I will link it um, 
down below if I can still find the link. Alright, so the purse is getting, she's getting a little light here. I have a makeup pouch. This is by the brand Longcomb. It's just a gray suede pouch. I have a few like personal little items in here. Um, it just looks like this. Um, inside, first things first, I have a mirror. This is a mirror. This is actually a YSL mirror. Don't know if you can see that, but I did get this YSL mirror from when I used to work at Sephora as a gratis. YSL gave us um, a mirror. You probably can't see that, but I don't want to blind y'all, but it looks like this and it's gold plated and I freaking love this mirror. I feel so bougie, like so... Meanwhile, I'm nowhere near, okay? <laughs> Next, I have this pouch. Isn't this so cute? But like, look, look, when you open it. Boom. This is just a um, manicure-ish set that my future mother-in-law purchased for me for Christmas too two years ago I want to say so we have the two nail clippers scissors tweezers a nail file this comes in really handy because you never know when you have like a hangnail or anything it's just very cute and convenient and it snaps it's so cute I feel like every female should have like something like this because you never really know you might get a splinter you have a hangnail like I said so I have that and the design is really cute I have a hand cream again this is by the brand that I work for Repishage C Spa hand cream um, it comes in a nice little blue tube like this nothing really fancy schmancy it doesn't really have a smell um, my hands always dry especially after washing them all the time you need a hand cream nothing fancy about it it's just it does what it needs to do next I just have a scrunchie because I always need a scrunchie when I'm wearing my natural hair so we have that I also have let me see I have a bobby pin in here as well because again you never know when you'll need anything I have a couple of lip products in here I have this ultra lip rose hip oil lip gloss I bought this from my local beauty supply store it's just a clear gloss in case I'm like, like my lips are a little dry or ashy and I'm wearing makeup I'll just put a little bit of lip gloss I have my everyday chapstick this is by the brand joy like this it's so cute I'm literally almost done with it it leaves my lips feeling so soft so nice so so juicy it's in the color natural which is basically nothing um I don't know if they have any other shades I don't even know if they still carry this but I will look online on Sephora's website I got it as a gratis actually so I will definitely look that up for you all I also keep one of my Fenty Beauty gloss bombs this is her original one in Fenty glow because I do have two of these so like I said I like to just keep lip products in my purse just in case your girl need a lip the things that I have the final things that I have in this purse are perfumes um, I don't really wear too much of a perfume because it does irritate me so I have to be careful on what type of perfumes that I use so the first one that I use like on a regular basis this is the Atelier Clementine California perfume and I keep travel size um, atel uh, I like to keep travel size perfume come back and come back I like to keep travel size perfumes because especially when I'm at work I can just spray it just in case I forget to spray myself or when I'm out I can just spray myself this is um a universal a unisex fragrance it does have a nice clean smell I'm gonna spray it in the cap yeah it has a very nice clean smell so it's really nice when you come out the shower you want to spray a little bit next fragrance hands down my favorite fragrance favorite fragrance I have to put emphasis on favorite this is the DKNY nectar love travel spray and this is not travel but it's a rollerball I'm gonna show y'all how much I love it I love it so much 
I have a full size. So I have a travel and a full size. So when I go away, I can keep this at home. I have the travel. Yeah, like this is just like a, like a, not, not like a sweet, sweet, let me see. It's like a semi-sweet, definitely citrusy. Like a, a little bit of a fruity. Listen, just go ahead and get it because it's nice and it's subtle and it just like mm, it just it just does the body good. Okay, so you guys, the last pouch that I have in my bag did come with the bag, so it is like a little thing like this. It has it like a little wrist, so you can wear it like as a wristless wristlet, which is really really cute. Um, it just has the words nine west on it and it has like this beautiful floral print in here i like to keep hygienic personal things um i only have a few things in here guys so you know first thing is first i have a feminine napkin because you just never know when your girl gonna come if she hasn't already it's been times where i've been at work and i forget to put one in my purse so i'm over there like asking all the women in my office hey do you have a feminine napkin and then you get them like no and I've had people come up to me and ask me for one so always keep one in your bag and I also keep a tampon in my bag as well because you never know who uses the pad who uses a tampon which one you want to use depending on your flow TMI sorry won't go there with you guys then but I keep these these are like a definite must you must keep in your bag next I have a Tylenol because if y'all like me, I cramp every month and I'm always at work dying of cramps. So I like to keep a Tylenol in my purse. I actually need to buy a new one because I literally only have one, which is not going to do anything for me. But I always keep a pain reliever, ibuprofen, Tylenol, anything in my purse. Next, I have my, um, an EpiPen. I've never had to use it. I am so afraid to, uh, to actually administer it. But I carry this with me everywhere, even when I travel, because you never know. I know for food, I have a food allergies of seafood, avocados. Um, that's all I know that I'm foodly, foodly allergic to. I'm also allergic to dust. But the main reason I have this is because of my asthma. Um, a couple years ago, I was having a couple of asthma attacks back to back, and I went to my um, pulmonologist, and he told me, I'm going to prescribe you an EpiPen just in case you're anywhere and you can't breathe and you can't get to a hospital really quick. So that's what is an EpiPen is for for me. Um, like I said, I do carry this on the plane because on the plane, you just you just never know. God forbid, knock on wood. I'm going to knock on wood after this video, but you just never know. So I always keep my EpiPen around. I actually have to see when it expires. Um, I have my asthma pump, because like I told y'all, your girl got asthma, no games played, okay? AirPods case, isn't she so cute, you guys? Reese's is my favorite candy, just in case you guys were wondering. I got this from Amazon, so I will link it down below for you, but look, isn't she? Oh. It does come with a little black thing right here, but I do not put this on my keys. I do not trust it. So I just put it in my pouch, throw it just like that. With a portable charger. So um, backstory on this. I bought this a couple months ago because me and my fiance like to go places a lot. And our phones are dying because... We're always trying to capture moments with it. So um, I bought this. I, we used to have another one and like years ago and we lost it. Whatever. This is the, um, what brand is this actually? The Mofi. We got it from a tech store by us. It, um, let me see. It fits a USB port and like a little port. It was like $30, I want to say, but I just keep this because I feel like you never know when you're out somewhere and you'll need a charger. Do I have anything else in my bag? Oh, in the side part, I just have my phone. My phone is all, always in my purse. Um, I usually have my keys in my purse as well, but they're hanging up right now. And I also usually carry my cell phone charger, but... I had to charge my phone while I was doing this look because I was recording a video. So, yeah, I'm trying to look. Oh, 
And on the inside pocket, like right here, I just have a another pen and highlighter. I told y'all I'm a writer. I like to write things down. So this is like the inside of my purse. She's empty, black hole in it. That is it. You guys, that's the end of what's in my purse currently. I try not to put too much in it because I don't want to break my back down. <laughs> But let me know what you guys think of this video. That was actually really cute. I might film this like every month. Let me not get ahead of myself, okay? Pika, let me know what you guys think of this what's in my purse, essential purse video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow all my social media sites. It's gonna be listed right down, right there down below in the box. Um, check out my previous video. I'll link it right here up above in the cards. Check out my vlogs. Like, just stay tuned. Subscribe and get notified. Welcome to my channel. I love it here. I'm sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder thing. I gotta look in the lens. Viewfinder, lens. I gotta, I'm trying to be here with y'all. But, um, yes, thank you for tuning in. If you watch this whole thing, let me know what's in your purse. Do you have anything, do we have similar things? Like, do you, are you a planner? Or do you like to write things down in your phone? Let me know what you guys think down below. And until next video, Bye.